Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another grocery haul. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do grocery hauls every single week. I also do meal preps, what I eat in a day, all those types of things. So if you would like to stick around and subscribe, I would appreciate it so much. Just hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you would like to be notified for videos. I'm also over on Instagram sometimes. <laughs> I always say this, I try to be more active over there, but it's just really hard with, with working a full-time job and YouTube and all of that. But I am over there. Um, for this week's meal plan, I, as always, I'm keeping it super simple. Um, if you watched my weekly update, I kind of talked about how we are going into the pretty bu busy season at work. Um, and I just need to not have to think about what I'm gonna have for lunch, what I'm gonna have for dinner. I wanna be able to pop home real quick, make my lunch, go back to work, and you know, just not have to do a lot of prep and a lot of thinking. Um, also speaking of prep, I wanna get some of my gardening done because we have some nice weather. We had some nice weather yesterday, which was beautiful, but I had to work. Um, we have some nice weather today and then really nice weather tomorrow, and then the rain's supposed to come back. I think like Tuesday or Wednesday then through the weekend and so I wanted to get my flowers planted I've been wanting to I have one pot that I need to completely redo and then I have four like little pots that I want to fill with flowers so that's my plan for tomorrow so I wanted to think of something that I did not have to take a long time to meal prep um, so that was the other thing I knew I would not have a couple of hours to meal prep so I want to just soak up as much of the sun as I can and not be in the house so I actually got up really early this morning did some power hour cleaning in the house so a bulk of my cleaning is done for the weekend I just have to finish laundry which I have a load going in the washer right now um, so my plan tomorrow is to do outside stuff in the in the house so I want to I really want to do some gardening and like I said I just want to soak up the Sun not be in the house cooking so that being said um, here's my meal plan I wanted to get some more of the premier protein pancakes but my Walmart was out we don't have a Sam's Club at all I don't even think there's one in Oregon um, so and that's the only place that from my understanding you can get them they don't ever have them at my Costco um, and they did not have them at Safeway or Fred Meyers so they had the Kodiak cake pancakes but ever since I had the premier protein ones I just don't want those other ones I realized how much I you know they were good but not like the best so I'm gonna make my own protein pancakes because I've been just really like craving like more of a savory breakfast than like just always yogurt and um and granola but i will probably have that as well i mean it's just going to be what i want to have um but i wanted to make some protein pancakes so i'm going to try to do that i have some pancake mix in my cabinet that i need to use up anyway because you guys know i did a big like pantry clean out during spring break so there's like two things i have some sweet potato birch bender pancake mix and then i have just a protein flapjack I can't remember the brand I think it was even called is it called flapjack I think so I have those in my cabinet so I'm thinking I may use those as the base and then make some kind of protein pancake with like cottage cheese and egg whites and eggs and then top it with like some fresh berries or something so that'll be my breakfast or yogurt bowl so I have options for that for lunches, so here's what I'm gonna do to make my lunches super simple where I don't have to do a lot of prep. I'm gonna get some salad kits. It just makes my life so much easier. But I'm gonna, instead of just doing salads for those, I am going to do salads like one day and then do like a wrap. So I did pick up some of the La Bantrita soft taco size wraps. I'm gonna do those and I also got some of the real good chicken strips so what my plan is and then I also have the Kirkland lightly breaded chicken nuggets so I'll probably use the Kirkland ones for my salads but then when I do a wrap so I'll do like half the salad as a salad one day the other half of the salad kit to make into a wrap the next day now I don't know if I'm gonna use any of the dressings because I have that dill pickle ranch dressing which is out of this world y'all like it is so good I also have the chili what is that called? The chili ranch one, which chili fire ranch, something like that. I love that one. So my plan is to actually just get, you know, a couple of salad kits that have mostly like the cabbage based things like that. Cause I really like those ones and they last the longest in the fridge and I'll use the toppings, but not the dressing. And I'm gonna use that dill pickle ranch and the chili fire ranch. That's what it's called. It is called that. Um, 
for my wraps and for my salads. And then for dinners, I really, really liked, and I know I did not show it on camera because um, I haven't been able to film too much the last couple weeks. I've been so busy with work. Um, the stir fry from Taylor Farms that I found at Safeway. I'm hoping they have it today. Um, it's the only place I've been, I've seen it. I want to get that again because that was such a great stir fry. So I want to have that. And then I have some of the G Hughes teriyaki stir fry sauce that I'll use instead of the one that comes in it. But I love all the veggies in there and the noodles. They were so good. So I'm going to do that for dinner and I'll add some chicken. I have some blackened chicken strips that I think go really good in that. And then I'm going to make this pasta dish. So I'll prep the pasta. I'm going to go ahead and prep the pasta ahead of time. And it's just this um, pasta with like lots of good veggies and then a chicken sausage. And I bought a new chicken sausage, well new to me, from Walmart that I'm going to try on that. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do like a Greek pasta spaghetti squash bowl. So um, not pasta. I don't know why I said pasta. A Greek <laughs> spaghetti squash bowl. I saw the word pasta up here. So a Greek sp sp spaghetti squash bowl. <laughs> So I'll cook the spaghetti squash during meal prep so it's all done and then just all the Greek flavors You know the Kalamata olives the cucumbers the feta cheese. I have some feta cheese. I need to use up so it's kind of what inspired that and um, So I'm gonna do that and then um, I'm gonna do like a breakfast for dinner, but also I'll have enough pasta where if I do want to make like a Greek pasta I think that's why it was also in my head because I was thinking I could do the spaghetti squash and I can also do like the um, a pasta now I Wanted to pick out my own spaghetti squash So I'm gonna go to Safeway get all my produce because if I can't find a super small one. I'm not probably gonna get that and I'll just do the Greek pasta because um I, it's only me that's going to eat it and I just haven't had the best luck like freezing it like it just doesn't taste the same I don't know anyway so I'm gonna try to find the smallest spaghetti squash that I could absolutely find and if I can find that then we'll do the spaghetti squash so that is my meal plan for the week so let's go ahead and go pick up our Walmart pickup order and go to Safeway okay so this is everything that I got at Walmart and Safeway so first up green onions. I got these mini cucumbers to go for the that Greek bowl. We have some bananas. I had to get quite a few tomatoes because I'm going to use some in that pasta with the roasted veggies and then some in the Greek bowls. And then I was able to find a really small spaghetti squash to use for those. And then the salad kits I'm going to use for salads and for wraps is going to be this avocado ranch and the Mediterranean Crunch. So I like the add-ons they have on both of these. And then like I said, I'm gonna use those two salad dressings that I mentioned that I already have in the refrigerator. And then this is the teriyaki veggies with the noodles that I really liked from Taylor Farms. I think these are kind of new, um, but these are really good. I had it a couple weeks ago. Um, but the sauce, I won't use the teriyaki sauce in here. I'm going to use the G. Hughes teriyaki sauce. Red onions for those Greek bowls. And I'm going to roast up these veggies with some of the tomatoes to make for that veggie um, sausage pasta. They had these bowls on sale for buy two, get one free. So I picked up some of those. The other meal I didn't mention that I'm having is going to be some rice. And I have some of those skillet green beans in the freezer. The ones from Green Giant, I believe. And then I'm going to add some chicken and just do that for a quick dinner one day. Um, I got some of this Greek dressing to go on those Greek bowls. So I'm going to use this instead. I was going to get some tzatziki, but I decided to get this instead. And just kind of drizzle this on there with the spaghetti squash and all the rest of this stuff. For the Greek bowls, I've had to pick up some Kalamata olives. And also some roasted red peppers will go on those as well. Uh, the real good chicken strips, these will be for those chicken wraps. And then for that veggie pasta sausage di dish, I'm going to try these sausages. I have never tried these andouille ones. I've tried the Amy Lou little chicken sausages, like the breakfast sausages, but I've never tried these ones. So we'll give those a try. Egg whites for the protein pancakes, fat-free cottage cheese for the protein pancakes, and then I picked up just some Phi A plain nut fat Greek yogurt to use for whatever I want to use it for. I 
picked up the Walmart version of this last week, but I did not like it. So I picked up this one instead. Um, simply potatoes for um, breakfast for dinner. I was out of cheese. I don't think I need this for anything this week, but I just like to have it on hand in case I want to have a last minute like taco bowl or something. For the wraps, I picked up these ones. These are the La Venturita soft taco. And I just picked up three yogurts. I do have some in there from leftover from last week. So I got a raspberry, strawberry cheesecake, and a black cherry. And then for all my coffees. So every morning I have my protein coffee and I top it with the cold foam caramel macchiato. I actually like all of them, but the French vanilla is not my favorite, but this one and the sweet and creamy one are really good. I also pick up the salted caramel skinny sauce and I get this at Walmart and you can find this over by the freezer section, like where all the ice cream syrups and stuff are. And this is the cold brew I like. And then I get these off of Amazon. My Walmart will have them sometimes, but typically I have to order them from Amazon and they come out a little bit cheaper ordering them in this three pack from Amazon. So I just have these on the subscribe and save to come once a month. And then I just fill in with other shakes throughout the rest of the month. I did pick up a couple of Alani News. I had a coupon at Safeway for these and they were on sale. So picked up the cherry slush and some eggs and that is everything so i will have my meal plan listed down below along with a couple of recipes um for like the greek um i'm kind of to do a variation of what i found on pinterest for the greek um, spaghetti squash and anything else i can find so i will see you guys tomorrow in meal prep bye guys mm -hmm.